I was summoned to a tweet showing quite an unlikely occurrence in a Counter-Strike match. The tweet clearly implied that it was from the ongoing PGL Major, but this video is shown vertically, which, like so many others, cuts off lots of useful information which would have shown that it wasn't actually from the ongoing PGL Major, but was instead from a few months back during the Blast Premier Tournament, where Nip faced off against G2 on Mirage. So I re-recorded it in beautiful 4K 60fps, and most importantly 16x9 aspect ratio. Here is what happened. Incredibly, Device's AWP shot gets blocked by a flashbang that just happens to be flying past at exactly the right moment for it to deflect the bullet. People were asking what the chances of this happening were, when of course calculating this is impossible. Where do you start? Where do you end? There are so many countless variables that there's no way a mere human could possibly comprehend the sheer complexity that such a calculation would require. It's 3 in 8 million and 42. But let's go through this step by step and take a look at what happened. LNZ, or Z for you Americans, was camped under balcony, or in shadow, or dark, or whatever you like to call it. Nico was approaching from Palace and threw this nifty Molotov to clear him out from under there. LNZ knew that this was coming and countered it with a smoke grenade, which signalled to Nico that there was indeed somebody camped under balcony, so he proceeded to chuck an HG grenade to clear him out. However, before this could detonate, LNZ got engaged in some heavy fighting and died. His FAMAS and flashbang fell to the floor just as Nico's grenade exploded, propelling the flashbang off this wooden thing and into the air at just the right time to block Device's AWP shot. It still hits Nexa, but only inflicts 26 damage instead of the lethal 100 plus amount that it would have done since the bullet hit him in the chest. So did it win G2 the game? They were already 5-1 up when this happened, and while surviving this shot and then killing Device clearly tipped the balance in G2's favour for this particular round, they still lost it as they were a little too late in rotating to be able to plant the bomb in time at bombsite B. So they still lost this round to Nip, who ultimately won the map 16-14 despite having had their AWP shot blocked. And then Nip won the third map as well, winning the game. So no, I don't think it majorly changed the outcome, but it very nearly could have done. There's no way this could have occurred in the PGL Major because the match between Nip and G2 on Mirage was never 5-1, nor was it 5-7 or anything else that could match what was shown at the top of the screen just here. So why did that round lie about which round it was? Maybe he didn't know. Maybe he's just stupid. But let's be honest, it's probably done for clickbait, like some weird variant of Cunningham's Law where the best way to get views is to lie on the internet. He saw a chance to capitalise on the PGL Major, and he took it. I'm not mad. I'm not even disappointed. I'm kind of impressed that he found this clip and saved it for such an opportune moment. And it's kind of like the circle of life. CSGO ruins games with stuff like this. Clips of it then get clickbaited. I get views from disproving it. And the more I try to do this, the more it feels like the other two things want to happen. In a way, it's really, really beautiful.